I now know QTP will select all the combinations through this mode. If I select set that all rows in the global sheet and the action sheet, I know it will work. When you practice, you practice it because it consumes time. The next thing that I like to do now, I am going to the next step of problem solving. After this selection, okay, now selection is done. We have done it with combinations of selection. There is no issue now. After this selection, what I want to do now? My job is to know now number of flights appearing here. I like to retrieve number of flights that appears from this page. How to do this? How I want to take the count of the flight? Now we are getting into get properties of a how to retrieve object properties from an ob, uh, from an object from an application. So I like to retrieve now the get count total number of flights in this page, right? And this can happen after the flight click. I get this window. Please note where you apply the script is very important again. I get this flight table only on click of the insert uh, flight button and this window exists before I click on OK button. Once I clicked on OK button, the window doesn't exist. So I have in my script, I need to introduce a line. After this line number 7 that you see now, after, I need to introduce a line to retrieve the count of the flight. Before, okay, before line number 8, after line number 7, I need to introduce that new line. Now, first is I need to know which object is holding that flight count. I like to know that. Which object is holding the flight count. I click on flight again. I like to now understand which object is holding the flight. I come to spy because object spy is the guy which will help me to understand how which object or how the object is recognized. I go to the spy pointing hand, use the pointing hand. I thought it is table now. When I select a table in the property set, I don't see any items count here because what I have selected is a dialog box dialog object. It is not the object that I like to do. Again spy now. Now I am selecting the content list content. Now you can see I am selecting a list. Left hand side you can see it is a win list. Under this win list you can now see that I have a parameter called items count. And this item counts gives me the value that I am looking for. Now if I am able to retrieve this value into a variable, my problem is solved. So how to retrieve this value into a variable is what we are going to see now. I say ok, very important features in QTP. So I have to introduce because I don't know what step I need to follow. So I need to now insert step generator because I want to introduce a line. To introduce a line to the existing scripts, either I can go with record placing my hand symbol, click on record. In my case, I want to retrieve a property value. Since I like to retrieve a property value, record will not help me. So I am going with the step generator. So which object I need to work on? It is not the flight object. Generally people go with the flight object. It is not the flight object that I want to work with because I want a list object and and that is available under flight table that is a dialog parent item parent item of the list is flight table you might have noticed in the spy in this flight table that list is not available so I can use the pointing hand to choose that object I am using the pointing hand to choose the object now you can see the hierarchy of the object, win list, dialog, then window. That is the hierarchy. Window is the parent, parent grandparent, parent is dialog, win list is the object.
from this object now i selected the object in the object i item what is the operation i like to perform on that object i need to get that much i am sure which is the get that i want to use which is the get that holds that value i need now get items count this is the get that i like to now retrieve then what is the return value i want to return into a variable i say items count item underscore count i am retrieving the value putting the value into a variable so get items count is the method on that object fly from sorry uh, fly win list from and this win list is nothing but a test object so i am applying now okay now you can see that the line number 8 is has got introduced and this line number 8 retrieves the item count and stores that item count into a variable i am redoing it i go to first i want to introduce i what i need to do i should be clear i know i need to retrieve the items count from that list object i know which object i need to work on i know what is the method that i want to apply so if i want to introduce a step inside the script i introduce the step generator insert step generator then which object you want to work with i like to work with the object that i would like to work if it is not available here use hand symbol place your hand symbol onto that object that you want to work with so the object should be visible for qtp to recognize yes i have selected the object on selection of the object you ensure that the object selection chosen the right object yes it has chosen the right object then what is the method that i want to apply on that object you have a list box and that list box you choose the appropriate method that is suitable for your operation in my case it is get items count so i have selected get items count from this list and i i want to return this value into a variable you can also return the value to other locations this we'll see later i am i stored it onto a variable now called v underscore item underscore count this is the place i stored the value that is after i say click okay you can see that the line number 8 has got introduced perfect what do you want to do next next i now like conditional statements if v underscore item count is less than 4 or less than equal to 4 what do you want to do i want to fail the script right so for passing a fail or pass status to the report i have an object that is called utility object so again i'm because i don't know what is the object i don't know what how to use i'm going with again insert step generator in this step generator i don't want now test objects i want qtp objects that is called utility objects so under utility objects you have set of operations available under utility objects the object that you want to use i want to use reporter because i want to report a pass and fail statement now it is not a checkpoint i want to pass i want to report an event so i reporter is an object what is the operation that you want to do it is supported by these four operations in my case i want to report an event what is that event that you want to pass it has a four parameters i want to say fail in case if it is less than four under which step name you want to fail i'll say flight count this is my step name i want to use it in my script to fail how it is appearing we'll see it in the report 
what is the details that you want to pass i want to pass this combination has less than four flights so i now passed on that information as well next is i say okay now you can see a step that has got introduced reported dot report event mic fail this is the step name against which the in the report the this message will appear this is the detail of the message now i'll say yes i want to pass the script this time i don't want to use step generator i'll give an another option you can type in if you know the object name you type in the object name here reporter dot you can see the intelligence is working so i use the report event this is what i want to choose then what is the event status that you want to pass now i want to use mic pass under which step you want to pass flight count this is a step name that appears in the report what is the detail you want to pass this combination has more than four flight hence pass so as less than four flight hence fail right so now i made this statement that is fine i'll just run the script uh, give me a second yeah i'm back so now after you finish up this so reporter it has done the job if i run the script you see now how it works i run the script now i am again i have set all for single iteration only i am not running for all iterations i am it is executing now it is entering now fly from fly to is and selected selected the flight items count so object repository check that object repository is found so he has not now what he says is win list object was not found in the object repository so reason b when i added that object here after that i when i redid that it has got removed so i'll now adding the object to the repository is easiest way just click on add button it has got removed from here i go to object select add object to local add this object initially when i did first time it has got added second time when i did and then i clicked on to the cancel button since i clicked on to the cancel button it has not got added that's the reason it has got missed out i rerun the script now i rerun the script uh, before i do it i just want you to know what is that count i want to display the count message box v underscore item underscore count i run the script now so i reset my flight reservation i cancel that window now i am recording sorry running the script fly from is selected fly to now you can see the items count message box there are totally 20 items available in that so now this 20 is greater than 4 so it will go to the else statement under else statement it is passed that to the report and he is now finishing the run now we'll see after the run i like to see the report so for to view the last report automation result in this result you can now see that report here it has got passed you can see a tick mark over here 
the tick mark says that that the script has passed how this flight count is the one uh, we have mentioned as a report step name this is the flight count and you can see the message this combination has more than four flights hence pass but actually the information is not sufficient to make a bug report assume you have 90 combination some combinations are failed assume that this combination has less than four flights hence fail so that is not the right information that is allows you to make a bug report then how what I need to do now again I'll go to file I close this report I want to enhance my script After I want instead of this combination I want the flight from selection and flight to selection to be part of my report to do that I am now getting into next how I want to get after the selection of the flight I want to retrieve the selected flight so again a step generator easiest way is you can use a step generator introducing a line step generator it is a test object object is fly from that is also correct what is the operation that you like to do? I like to now get selection. I like to get the selection, put it into a variable v underscore fly from. If you notice, wherever I use a variable, I use a v as a prefix. Wherever I use the data table, I use dt as a prefix. This are supposed to be part of the framework. I say OK. Now I retrieved the collection now. I want to do it from flight to as well. To do that I can now type it on this script as well. Flight reservation dot win combo box if I know which object I need to work with. Now I choose flight to. What is the method that you want to apply? So this is the advantage of IntelliSense get selection I say ok return the value v underscore fly to now I concatenate here instead of this I'll say fly from concatenation v underscore fly from concatenation to concatenation fly from v underscore fly to concatenation operator then I have combination has so from this location to this location combination has less than four flights I want to copy this to else statement as well I want to copy this to health statement as well so now you can see the way the reporting is done I'll just run the script anyway you have a recorded sessions so you can go through this until you get the clarity and understanding even though we are talking about exercise 2 but we have covered lot of finer points of QTP here one is how data table takes the value when it is an integer when it is a new uh, character then how to retrieve the properties of an object then how to make the report user friendly so these are all the points that we have seen under so called exercise 2 so we have now finished this exercise I save this file uh, before I do it I need to see the report go to the result under result you can 
see the report now. You can see this flight count. Once I select that flight count, you can see now fly from Denver to Frankfurt combination has more than four flight hence pass. The clarity in the reporting. These are all part of the testers work. Right? So you are able to see that we are able to convey the information with some more clarity. This is how the information is passed.